Alright guys, we're ready to do episode 18 of Card Sharks. This is our last episode for this week. And Ben is still the champion. He has $124,800. As long as he keeps winning, he keeps on playing, as y'all know. So, uh... Oh my lord, oh my lord. Is there anybody out there that can stop me? We'll see. We'll see if Alan can stop you. You think you can stop him, Alan? Probably. Oh, you... You think you can do it, huh? Yep. All right, well, let's bring out the questions. The first game is worth $1,000. Questioning always goes to the champion first. Here's your question, Ben. Hit me. We asked one of the college sorority women, have you ever enrolled in a course just because you thought the professor was attractive? How many co-eds admitted they have? Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, but the moral is people just want to get into the course because that, that's what they want to have to in their life, you know? Yeah. But let's go with, mm hmm yeah, let's go with 68. Go with 68. All right, higher or lower than 68, Alan? I'm going to say it's lower. Going lower. Okay, let's check it out. The actual number of co-ed that admitted that their pre professor was attractive and they enrolled in that class is 57. And it's a little lower. Good job. Okay, Alan, you have a great card of an ace. Hmm, I'll go lower. Okay, he's definitely not changing. Lower than an ace. A five. Eh, let's go higher. Higher than a five. A nine. I'll freeze. Freeze on the nine. Keep it Ben away from his cards. Now this is your question, Alan. Okay, Alan, we asked 100 single women, would you accept an engagement ring from the man you loved if you knew it once belonged to his ex-wife? How many single women said they would accept the engagement ring anyway? Hard. Um, I don't think that would be too, too high. I'm going to say 40. Going 40. Ben, higher or lower than 40? Yeah, let's go higher. Going yeah, higher. All right, let's check it out. The actual number of single women that said they would accept the engagement ring anyway is 14. It is not higher, it is lower. So, Alan, you get it. Okay, Alan, you have that nine. What do you think you want to do with it? Let's throw it out. Throw it out in the trash can. The nine becomes a two. Higher. Higher than the two. No, a double. Oh, God, are you kidding me? What is the odds of that happening? Well, Ben, free chance to you, and you got a king. Yeah, what are the odds of that happening? Like Lower. 48. Lower than a king. It's a nine. Oh, boy. Lower. Lower than a nine, it's an eight. Aha! Uh -huh. Stop! He's freezing on that eight, okay. Not pressing your look. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Burns. Yes. All right, this is your question now, Ben. We asked 100 women who have been married for 25 years or more. If you could, would you like to have a baby right now? How many women married for at least 25 years said they would like to have a baby? When I was born in July 24th, 1987, my parents were married three months, well, a little, actually, a little, a little more than, well, they were married for 16 years, 15 years, actually. Oh, yeah? So, uh, and I'm the last member of the family, but, uh, but the uh, women who want to have babies at, uh, after 25 years of marriage, uh, I can't see that happening. But, uh, I, but, I'm, but it's happened. Yeah? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's happened. Let's go. Uh, well, I'm sure women have the power to do that. Let's go with, oh, boy. <laughs> Let's go with 
72. Go with 72. Alright, Alan, higher or lower than 72? On how, how many after 25 years would want one? Well, the question is, we asked Wonder Women who have been married for 25 years or more, if you could, would you like to have a baby right now? How many women married for at least 25 years said they would like to have a baby? And Ben I said... Think, I think after 25 years is a long time to wait. I'm going to say it's way lower. Way lower, huh? Well, let's check it out. The actual number of women that have been married for at least 25 years that said they would like to have a baby is 12. It is way lower. I figured. All right. You have that card of a two. I don't think you want to change it, do you? No, there's only uh, two more twos in there, so the odds of a two coming up is slim, so I'll go higher. Okay. Higher than a two. It's a jack. Yeah, let's go for it lower. For $1,000, lower than a jack. Good job, Alan. So you got $1,000, but Ben been behind before, so be careful. Yeah, you've done it twice. <laughs> yep. Okay, and we go on to our next set of high-low questions, and this time, this question goes to you, Alan. Okay. Okay, Alan, we asked 100 millionaires, can money buy happiness? How many millionaires claim that money can buy happiness? Oh boy, that is tough. Um, I always said that money never buys happiness, no matter how rich you are, because it's your life that's more important than money. I agree um, with you on that. Oh boy, this is a tough one. I don't think it would be super high. I'm going to say 34. Going 34. Okay, Ben, higher or lower than 34? Wow. Money buying happiness. In my case, Mike would just buy a television set, a house, uh, cars, and all the whole, the whole kit and caboodle recently. Okay. But I'm sure happiness can be included too. Let's go higher. Going higher than 34. Okay, checking it out. The actual number of millionaires that claim that money can buy happiness is 14. It is not higher, it is lower. Okay, uh, uh, Alan, you have that queen showing. Let's go lower. Okay. Lower than the queen. No, it's a king. Free chance to you, Ben. You have to play off the five. Of course. Higher. Higher than the five. It's an ace. Lower than. Lower than the ace. It's a king. It's got to be lower. It has to be. Lower than the king. Oh, it's an ace. Oh. Me card. No progress. Here we go. Next question. It goes to you, Ben. What's with these cards, huh? I don't know. Ben, we asked 100 people, has anyone ever said to you, boy, you got a big mouth? How many people say yes, they said that to them? Well, that's happened to me, but uh, but not here. But I won't go into it. Mm. <laughs> well, someone out there in the world has a big mouth, but I'm not saying who. Okay. Well, let's go. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Thirty. Going thirty. Alan, what do you think? Higher or lower than thirty? Uh, I've always been told I have a big mouth and to shut up a lot. I'm gonna go higher. Going a lot higher, huh? I think I've been told that a few times before in my life, but let's see. The actual number of people that said uh, that they have heard that saying, boy, you got a big mouth, is 63. It is higher. Good, Alan. Okay, Alan, you have that queen showing. Lower. He's keeping it. Lower than the queen. It's a four. Higher. Higher than a four. It's an ace. Lower. Lower than an ace. It's a ten. <laughs> I'm gonna freeze. I'm not gonna be greedy. Freezing on a 10 means that you have one card away before you be the new champion and win this match. And this next question goes to you, Alan. Okay. Alan, we asked one of the fifth graders in Pennsylvania, have you ever sold your lunch to another kid at school? How many fifth graders said they have sold their lunch? Ooh, fifth grader selling their lunches to another kid. Yes. Uh, elementary school, I've never done that. Um, 
but like I said, times change. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to say 42. Going 42. What do you think, uh, being higher or lower than 42? What's up with these Pennsylvania students? I mean, uh, I mean, <laughs> they're, they're, oh, great. What? Come on. Selling their, the, giving their money to somebody else? Yeah. Well, they can do that. Do I actually... We asked them, have they ever sold their lunch to another kid at school? Well, yeah, of course, but uh, thank, thanks for the heads up. Thanks. Let's go lower. Go on lower, okay. Let's check it out. The actual number of fifth graders in Pennsylvania that said that they have sold their lunch to another kid at school is six, only six. It is lower. All right, Ben, you have the five showing. What do you want to do? Let's change it. Okay. The five becomes a six. I was afraid of that. Let's go higher. Higher than a six. It's an eight. Freeze it. Freezing on the eight, and this is the fourth and final question. So I must win this play of the card, so control is very critical right here. And this is your question, Ben. Boy, this is really important. Really, really. I haven't seen a, a situation more tense than this. Yep. We asked 100 men, have you ever spent the night on a park bench? How many men admit they have? Spend the night on a park bench. Right. Wowie. 25. Going 25. All right, what do you think, Alan? Higher or lower than 25? I'm sure a lot of guys get kicked out by their girlfriends and crap and they have nowhere to go. I'm going to say it's a little bit higher. You're going a little higher. You sure about that, huh, Alan? All right, uh, let's check of, it. Kind of not. Okay. Let's see. let's see. The actual number of men that admit that they have spent the night on a park bench is only 14 is not higher. So, Ben, now this is an interesting decision. You have an eight showing and you have three cards to go in order to win this game, but you have the power to change that eight. Alan has the 10. He has one card to go, but he does not have the power to change that 10. Now, do you want to play it yourself or force it on Alan Burns? I'm going to do it myself, and I'm going yeah. to keep the 8. Okay, you keeping the control, and what did you say, Ben? You going to change it? Yes, I am. All right. The 8 becomes a 3. One mistake, Ben, and Alan is the new champion. Higher. Higher than a three. It's a six. Continue. Higher. Higher than a six. It's a jack. Continue. Wow. Lower. All right, to tie up the match. Lower than a jack. You did it, Ben. Wow. Good job. You are a lucky SOB. He is lucky, wow. yeah. So that brings your winning to. Huh? Yeah. That brings your winning to $126,800. Now we have our three cards on the board. Only three high go questions. And this question now goes to um, Alan. And this game is worth $3,000. And whoever wins this game, as y'all know, goes to the money cards for $144,000. Right, we've been here before. <laughs> yep. All right, Alan. Yes. We asked 100 single women, have you ever gone out with a man you thought was a real he-man only to discover that he was a real mama's boy? How many women said they have? Hmm, I would say that can be pretty relevant. Um, there's a lot of guys that are mom's boys. I'm going to say... Hmm, I'm going to say... 52. Go on, 52. All right. Ben, higher or lower than 52? Big. Lower. Going lower. All right, we'll check it out. The actual number of uh, single women that said that they went out with a man that they thought was a he-man but discovered he was a mama's boy is 62 is not lower. Oh, boy. So, Alan, you get control. You have that queen showing, sir. I control destiny is in my feet. Lower. Okay, he's keeping it lower than a queen. No, it's a king! Wow, free chance to you, Ben. You have that queen showing. Really? Lower. Lower than the queen. It's a five. 
fire. Good if, night, everyone. If this is right, Ben, this will be your seventh win. You'll have another three thousand dollars, and your winning will be at one hundred twenty-nine thousand eight hundred dollars. Higher than a five. You did it again, Ben. Oh my lord! What's going on here? That is seven games in a row. Nicely done, Ben. I need some night after this. You probably do. Well, Alan, there's nothing you can do about that. Ben is very lucky on this game. Yeah, he's lucky, all right. Yeah, but you have $1,000 in our congratulations, okay? Thank you. Well, Ben, that means that you get to play Card Sharks next week, Ben. Yes, I do. And I wouldn't recommend the NyQuil. I'd prefer that we should get uh, Mr. Burns the... Uh, Geritol. I'll take the night quill and hope someone takes you down soon. <laughs> Geritol. Come on. Night. Come on. Charles Van Doren sold Geritol. Uh, I'm going to eat dinner. I'll be back. All right, Alan. <laughs> well, Ben, you're you're hot, man. Hot? My God. It's, it's, somebody turn down the heat here. I have to see uh, what the record is for the longest games. I think you tied up the record. Did I? Well, yeah, for go ahead and check the record sometime, okay? Yep. Anyway, let's cut my deck with number... Well, let's just do it. Okay. What's let's your... go with number seven. All right, let's bring up the money cards. I can't wait to see what you do with these money cards. Let's get and let's to... hope this time you'll come out with some money this time. And you said seven, right? Seven, lucky. All right. Once the cards come on the board, we're going to give you your thousand dollars. Give it to me. There it is. And for one thousand dollars, your first card is a four. It can't happen to me again. All of it higher. He's keeping it. Everything higher than a four. It's an ace. Of course it's lower. Here we go. There you go. You have an eight and four thousand dollars. Change it. Number three. Okay, he's changing the card. Alright, that eight becomes a two! You gotta be joking! All of it higher! Everything higher than a two! Yes, it's a ten. We add a thousand dollars to your score. That brings you up to nine thousand dollars and you got a ten. Change it. Number one, please. He's changing the card with number one. The ten becomes a ace. Come on, all of it lower. Everything lower than the ace is a two. Come on, everything higher. Everything higher than the two is a king. Ronnie, I've never seen you this loud before. All of it lower. I cannot believe these cards. That's why I'm getting loud. Okay. We hope another ace don't come up. All of it lower than a king. Yes, $72,000. You got a 10 showing, Ben. Now, the question is, do you want to keep that 10? Let's change it with number two. He's changing the card. The 10 becomes a five. Now, Ben, here's the situation. You have $72,000. You must bid at least thirty. dollars $6,000 on this play of the cards, but you can bid more. What's your big bet? No guts, no glory, higher. You go, well, what's your bid? All of it. Who, Ben? I hope you do it. This is for $144,000 or nothing. Higher than a five. You broke the bank! You broke the bank! You broke the bank! My Lord, Ben! Oh my goodness, what, what's going on? Ben, you are incredible, man. And you know what? Not only you broke the break, but you are the highest money winner of card charge now. We're at the previous winnings of $129,800. You're up to $273,800. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ben, can you believe this is happening to you? I don't know. I don't know. Oh my goodness. I, I, I'm speechless, sir. 
I'm speechless to you. Congratulations, Ben. You get to play next week, man. And you know, as long as you keep winning, you keep on playing, okay? All right, guys. Well, let me get the closing out here. Ben, you're doing fine, brother. You're doing fine. Well, thank you, brother. All right, guys. Get this. The credits here going here. So Ben will be back next week to play Card Sharks. We'll see if somebody can beat him. This is Rodney 1279 signing off saying be safe, be careful, and I will see y'all guys next time for Card Sharks. Good night, everybody. Good night, Rodney. This is going on YouTube right away. You know that, Dan, right? Yes, I do. So I'm going to probably get off the call and then take a break.